ndi bayi eke ni kwenye muuno zo nubosi iwuru chi nketa aisi kubosi nketa adre nu nama aisi kankwe chikwari ya zero tariko sidi ya bupa ni eastern news 24 ka isi wene wateru ni ya bu nukuwa zidi o kemba bastama kiene mina nibo anu bastama kanguro wendi bo na azo tariko sidi aswe nuru simi egini ya korowani ya ifaina apoku ya bu evening tea Um, over here, be a friend, Prime Minister, will you know, but sing a ta bo and a boy, a be a friend day, state of union by the Prime Minister, Maze Simon Eba, Okuria, no, but sing a ta. I'm much of Konya, but I get a be fair. It gets here, you quay featured, no dink again, but stomach you, Kuno, but sing a ta bo, but say jet, then can raya, be a fra, a nebo, a quay i was no den ke gbo samaki enda ni ne oku gasi ni ruaku ko oku wasi kwa ye di obi mi pudi iche e i get say drop all your own comment ni ruaku ko all right over to you and today it can never be wiped away out of the nigeria history he is a man who stood up once upon a time and spoke the truth without fear today we understand him very well because when we know exactly what is going on but some of you, the morons, who think you are getting peanut from Nigeria, you think that we are going to sacrifice our people, the life of our women and children, just because you are going to give people peanut. No. We have come out for this freedom, and this freedom we will fight, making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. And like I said, checkpoint in Biafra land remain banned. Those of you who are falling victim today, you have to be very security conscious. What I want to do is to intimidate you, to instill fear in you by continuing enforcing disappearance of Biafrans, abducting you, making video, putting you in a van. That is not going to stop the movement and the liberation of Biafra. If they like, they should go to Abia State, pack everybody in the street it is not going to stop the liberation. And those of you in Abia State, in Aba, we have been warning to stay away from anything military. In both their checkpoint, whenever you see their vehicle, stay away, don't go closer, because these are terrorists. All they do is to abduct you. And if you give yourself so cheaply, you become a victim. And becoming a victim cannot stop the liberation of Biafra people. We are almost 80 to 90 million people. Do not allow yourself to be used as a sacrifice. We are all going to make it to the end. And those of you that are condemning what happened in Aba after many years of sharing lifeless bodies of Biafrans on social media, I will only say shame on you. We have just started. Nigeria government is a terrorist government. And what the Biafra Defense Forces are doing now is to target where this enforcement of disappearance of Biafra people are taking place, and we're going to neutralize them. The next target is to make sure we know exactly where they have their weapons. Their armory will destroy everything. You can't, not in Biafra land. If you have your armory under Nigeria, put it, take it in Kaduna. Put it there. Go to Lagos. Go to Abuja. When you want to attack us in Biafra land, you bring it. But you see, in Biafra land, your armory can never stay. It doesn't happen today. It will happen tomorrow. So when we are saying it, we will tell you, first of all, before it happens. Our target is to make sure we neutralize every armory of Nigeria within Biafra territory. Because that's where the terrorism, the power to commit terrorism out of terrorism against Biafra people are happening. We have been warning about Obinze. Because there they have freezer where the body parts of Bia France are being kept. One day, they will wake up and Obiza is gone. I swear to God. One day, they will wake up, Obiza is gone. And let me tell you, Musa came out, came out on national television to say that they have adopted what they call um jungle welfare you know what that means 
It is jungle welfare. We have adopted gorilla welfare in self-defense. They have adopted jungle welfare. He said it on national television. When a chief, a military chief, came to television to tell you that the military of their own country have adopted a jungle welfare, you know what that means? Do you understand what when they say they have given him a jungle justice? You know what that means? Jungle justice means that when you catch, when you catch somebody, a suspect who is not even who you are not even sure that the person have committed a crime, what do you do? You lynch the person. That is jungle justice. Now, this military have told you, Musa, it is a record that they have adopted what they call jungle welfare. Against who? Against Biafra people. And you are expecting Biafra carrying guns to allow them to succeed with their jungle justice. Never. Whoever gets each other first, we, you know, you succeed. So if they get us first, they are, they have, they are lucky. Well, when we get them first, and this is going to continue happening until they realize that they can never defeat Biafra with guns and bullets. Never. I told them, if you think that all this shooting gun in Biafra land, blocking road and making checkpoint, instilling fear and asking people to hands up while they are going on their daily, uh, you know, uh, activities will bring us down. Believe me. You are joking. The harder you come on us, the harder we go. No, let nobody think that intimidation, harassment, and terrorism will stop Biafra freedom from exiting Nigeria or Biafra from exiting Nigeria. It's, not, it's gonna make us more stronger. So if Nigeria is thinking that they are going to defeat us by gun, my, my brothers, my sisters, they are making a very big mistake. They can never defeat us. The war we are fighting against Nigeria is you they see me, I know they see you. We own the land. You don't know our terrain. We know our terrain. When we strike you, the rest is history. And I wonder why they are not talking about those that Biafra Defense Forces are neutralizing in Nemo State. Do you know how many thousands? Do you know when they deploy 2,000 military to the southeast? Do you know when they go? Do you know that sometimes they say, oh, they have approved the deployment of 1,500? Do you know what they do in Biafra land? They kill our people. They kill our women and children. They came with jungle welfare. They said it. So some of you, when they are speaking this English, if you do not understand, ask somebody to translate and interpret. When they speak, they say they have adopted what they call the jungle welfare. A military who claim they want to protect your country, want to tell you they have adopted. Against who? Against you. Against the Biafra people. And you expect us to allow them to stay in our land, to perpetrate jungle ju jungle welfare, to carry out the jungle welfare, it is not going to be possible. We will continue to neutralize these terrorists until they are withdrawn completely from the Our demand is very simple. Withdraw your military. We have now gotten what we call the mandate of over 30 million. Even the president did not get 30 million vote from the entire Nigeria. Do you understand the point? And this is why they are scared of of organizing any referendum because the Biafra people are going to, not only Biafra, indigenous people in Nigeria are going to disgrace those supporting one Nigeria. That's why they will never support any referendum. Well, we don't care. The government of Biafra have organized the referendum. We are going to pursue the legitimacy. We are going to pursue that this particular referendum that is being conducted, the second phase is ongoing now, after the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra. Believe me. We will fight Nigeria, fight Nigeria until nothing will remain of Nigeria within Biafra territory. That is the only way to preserve our culture, value, save our life, generation to come, save our women and children like the Biafra Defense Forces have done it up to this point. And I'm very, very happy that Tinubu has officially declared war, but we are going to disappoint him. The way we are going to fight this war is our own way. That is the one thing I like about the Biafra Defense Forces. You don't detect what they do. They dictate for it. It is our war. We will fight it in our own way. But thinking that you are going to defeat Biafra this time around, you are joking. You must pay dearly 
for genocide against us. You must pay for the massacre of children that are innocent, that knows nothing about agitation. You must pay for the blood you spilled on the street of Abba. You must pay for the blood of Biafrans you spilled at Umpo. You must pay for the massacre of Biafra in Iguacha. You know, Bibo, you must pay for forcing the disappearance of over 40,000 Biafrans. You must pay for those who are dying in your dungeon on daily basis. Believe me, you must pay. And this war is our own way. We dictate how we fight it. So, Biafrans, when we assured you that the only thing that will stop this particular calamity from befalling Nigeria is one, they pull out the every military checkpoint out of Biafra land. Two, they respond to the application we have filed at the Banjul court at the AU. Three, they claim that I am not reachable, that they, they, they want to negotiate with me and I'm not reachable. I have had that several. So, and I'm making myself available today that only country and only government that will summon me to negotiate with Nigeria for the freedom of Biafra will be Finland. They will be the mediator. And that is the only thing I have on the table. If it is not Finland to be a mediator, you can never negotiate with me. And negotiating with me is, first of all, pulling out the military out of the street, releasing Mazenam the Kano that you kidnap from Kenya. You cannot be a kidnapper and condemn kidnapping in your country. You are the leader of the kidnappers. You went to Kenya and committed international crime of kidnapping. And then when I listen to Nigerians who are, you know, gullible, shouting, kidnappers in Enugu, kidnappers in, uh, in Zafara. Oh, Nigeria, why should Nigeria do anything about it when they're actually leading the kidnapping business? Do you know how much they spent to go to Kenya to kidnap us in Africa? Do you know how much they paid in ransom? To people who gave information about Mazin Amdikano, you can see their activities on social media. Today, they change for every day. They say Samanekpa is working with Maz uh, Nigeria government. Samanekpa is working with Tinubu, thinking that when they blackmail me, all these things, they you know they are going to succeed. Where are they today? They are gone. So my people in Ireland and any person that is having the privilege to listen to me today. You must harden your heart. Be brave. Stand before your enemy without intimidation. Speak for the favor and the interest of your people. When they tell you, oh, Simon Akbar is speaking and the army is coming to kill, is that what you want to be proud of? Do you want to be proud of a system where Simon Akbar will speak and they will go and kill somebody else? Do you want to continue to support the system where people will go and Defend the Biafra land by making sure that those who come to kill them enforce the disappearance of their brothers and neutralize, and they go and start attacking innocent people. Is that the kind of system you want to support? For how long? But this has been the modus operandi of those who call themselves military. When people who carry gun attack them, they don't attack those who carry gun. They go to women, they go to uh, you know young girls, young boys of Biafra, and they start mass arrest. And those people they arrest may never come back. Is that the kind of system you want to support? Why don't they go after those who come to attack them with gun? Why don't they look for where they are to go and attack them? Because they have gone. You go and attack people who, didn't, who don't have gone. You go and attack people who have nothing to Is that the kind of system you want to support? If you want to support that kind of system, believe me, that particular system will be your fate. If it is not your fate today, it's going to be your fate tomorrow. Those who carry gun will be will come after you. I am telling you the fact. So our what are we advocating for? If you believe that people are attacking with gun, remember you attack them first. Remember also that if you want to attack people with gun, you go to those people who attacked you with gun to attack them, fish them out. If you feel you control Biafra territory, go to where they are. You say you are a government. You control the, the you have a state governors. You have police. You have all the security apparatus. Why don't you go after the people that carry gun? Why would you go after innocent people? That is my concern. 
And that's why I can never, ever, ever shift even one, even one step from supporting those who are neutralizing the terrorists in our land. This has been happening for decades. Any place, any time, armed group attack any military. You know, you don't even giving them calling them military is uh, you know, you know, upgrading them. They are terrorists. That's what they are. State terrorism. When they attack them, or the, you will see Nigerians on social media. Oh, the people now is the innocent people now are going to pay for this. And they are validating this kind of impunity. What kind of word is this? What kind of what kind of control is that? They are already most of the people saying this thing are living abroad. Have you seen where a crime happens somewhere? Let us even call it a crime because this is not a crime. This is a war. We are already at war with Nigeria. President Bolatinubu have declared war. Musa have declared jungle war. He says it's a jungle warfare. And you are there somewhere where you live, you know, you know, or your country where you live, and say, oh, the innocent people, innocent people are now going to pay the price. Is that how they handle security issues in your own country? Where just because somebody does something, everybody in that area become a, a, a suspect. Not even a suspect, you start killing them. That is the system we must resist. And the only way to resist that system is what the Biafra government in Israel is doing today, to free Biafra from such nonsense, from such shambolic, so from such nomadic system of government, where the innocent will always pay because they have made themselves available. That's why we are saying, whenever this thing is happening, as a Biafra, stay away from military checkpoint, stay away from anything. If you see military, run! Because these are not humans. They are not there for you. Anywhere you see Nigeria, anybody, if you don't carry gun, no, if you are an innocent Biafran, see military man, carry, run. Because all they look for is who to devour. They are not there, you know, to, to protect your right or, you know, you know, uh, know what is rule of engagement. They have no training. You see, the people that they train six months, some of them don't, don't even go to training. They, they don't know what is the rule of engagement. It is complete terrorist organization who wear camouflage and carry gun, you know, under Nigeria state. So we can never allow them to breathe in Biafra land. I see them sharing my video. I see them sharing my videos. Oh, someone is taking responsibility. And so what? We are at war. Do you think we see a military in checkpoint? We go and start giving them pure water. They will collect water, water. It's war. And I have said it. Musa have declared war. He see, call it jungle welfare. All these videos are evidences. In case any day they come tomorrow and say something like this, we have evidences that they have declared jungle welfare. And we are in guerrilla warfare. It is war. So kill me, I kill you. And when we kill them, and it is public, they start crying. Like I said, no military checkpoint is allowed in Biafra land. If your checkpoint, if you are still standing in checkpoint today, don't worry. Your day is coming. This is what I'm going to drop here. And the only way is that Nigeria must pay for all the killings of Biafra. We have everything documented. And by Dalu Lindeno, Giboyo Mane Gente, Kiswe, Nupa no Nuai, and Kiswe, when we saw a line here in Eme, if I may, Nupa Sinketa, na Eastern News 24. I see that Oya Drun Chadi the number, Nachuko Kabia Mayano, and I often know. Otoa ekuru otoa ko ya dere ise 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 ede ko si de una nugo ni ya bia from prime minister fuga si di chiche and chete ko ni ya evening tea i before i agani we ku oku dia high choli ku nke bo abo ni ya kabu bo si ze vi ne so na ya na eastern news twenty four kabalo ki join na ya and subscribe or turn on your notification kela pi miss any of our daily update or the ezibo mo mo chuko ni loa ku Get up in me, see ya. begin with the latest information in the menu. You might see as over again. Uh, because the day I just go out mother the car PM and also bonding all the local mazin and the canoe bonyan drink and devo to poke cabin my own elegant. It began at dinner nineteen tea to poke cabin again. Younger freedom. He said, He said, He said, He gave all over again. I would phone you up, Lee, make my caffeine who be so the gospel of Chukokabia, Yako Nezi.
Check if any no yen dukulu. The cock a creator check, check his talk. Yeah, be finny now and be finny mumu the guitar. She nay for an hour, no so. I know that son has seen it. And in your five hundred million, in cards, ye me. And people on that half. I know the Simba, not two hundred and fifty five million. What is happening? Sometimes now, John the Bayo Gin name and I. Key me and I far. I know that I've seen a neighbor room up for 200 and something. Christians, to tell you that this country can never be won. I don't know. Check here. I guess one on the Biafra Liberation and BJ Bugger no mark and na Sokoto. I got Boko Fafa now. To tell you the country, the buyers, everything is not working. Nothing is working. Only if you know all everything they paralyze kunyi ko wago check here na fine agu no be zoku e wata go order na go exchange onya hand over na 750 now today is sending bo almost 1658 naira imagine imagine ibo bi bo na ko ham no no eh kabalo kabalo ke comment ya ni ya and share ya o de mpa uh, call it more of our blooders and bladders. Kahamali fenomeno bodo. Dalulinen, mwana ke mesia no 